Hello campers and RVers. Today I'm going to make some chili in my crock pot and I'm going to use my Jackery 1000 to do the cooking. I'm using a product I've never used before called Trader Joe's Meatless Ground Beef. It's a plant-based crumbles uh, made with pea protein. I'm not sure if it's any good but I figured I'd give it a try. It would be great if it is good because uh, it's great for camping and boondocking because you don't have to freeze it. And it's, uh, it's lightweight, so it travels nicely in your RV. And uh, so we'll give it a try, and we'll see how much energy the uh, Jackery 1000 uses in cooking the chili. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started putting the chili together. So everybody makes their chili a little bit differently. I like to uh, just use some basic ingredients. Some mild diced chilies and some tomato paste to make it a little bit thicker. Using a just a regular seasoning pack which is good for traveling because then you don't have to have a whole bunch of bottles of seasoning. Throw in some diced up onions. And a lot of times I'll go ahead and use Morning Star, but you have to freeze it, and it uh, does take up quite a bit of room in your freezer, especially with a small, with a very small freezer, RV freezer. So I put in about half of the package, and I like mine a little spicy, so I'm going to go ahead and put in some jalapenos. and then two cups of water. And one last ingredient, the uh, light red kidney beans. I almost forgot those. And I like to have beans in my chili. I can do without the meat, but I definitely can't do without the, the beans. So give this a good stir and uh, We'll check back with you later. So you can see it's the Jackery 1000's at 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the crock pot. Which is on high, the crock pot is. And it's drawing 150 watts right now. And that will change, I'm sure. So we'll check back with you later on how it did. Just a quick update on how the chili looks and how it's cooking. It's on high. And again, that plant-based meat, the fake meat, uh, is floating at the top. And no matter how much I try to push it down, it keeps floating to the top. So we'll let it keep cooking. So it's been exactly four hours and the Jackery 1000 is down to 32%. So that's 68% running most of the time on about 150, on average 150 watts. So uh, four hours to uh, cook the chili. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. So four hours to cook so the chili. So the Jackery used 68 percent 
for four hours on the crock pot. It's like a three quart crock pot. Um, I think is a lot of energy to use to, uh, to cook a meal on four hours. Uh, next time I'd probably use the propane and just do it on the propane stove. But that should give you an indication of how much the Jackery 1000 uses. Now it's time to test out the chili. So the consistency looks nice. The um, plant-based artificial meat uh, blended in nicely. So it does look good. So we'll give it a try. So the appearance of this chili with the plant-based, Trader Joe's plant-based um, meatless meat uh, doesn't look bad at all. It's actually blended in very nicely and does look like ground round in the chili. I'll let you take a peek at it. And so it does look like regular old chili. So we'll give it a taste. Just tastes like regular great chili. It did take a while to cook. I, I usually cook my chili for about four hours on high and it did use quite a bit of energy to do that. So I would have to see if I wanted to use the um, use the Jackery 1000 again to cook chili like this. Sometimes it's nice to make up big batches and then um, keep it for lunches or dinner um, for later times. But anyways, that's that's the chili and I uh, hope it was helpful and thanks so much for, for watching.